Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic or video related products. Now today isn't a review per se. I'm comparing videoing with full frame compared to APS-C that I've got over here. Now, many people have asked me and they're asking people all the time, can you get professional results with a crop sensor camera? And you absolutely can. I'm absolutely convinced of it and I know you can. And I want to prove that today. Um, so this shot here you're looking at here is on my Sony A6700. And that's got the Viltrox 33mm lens fitted to it. And I've got that set to f1.4. And then on this camera here is my Sony A7C, which is a full frame camera. And that's got the 50mm uh, lens, the Sony FE 50mm lens set to f1.8. So they're both around the 50 mil. So if you look at the APS-C camera, 33 mil in full frame terms is about 50 mil. So the angle of view is going to be much the same. The eye contact is going to be slightly different because obviously I can't get the cameras butted up right close together. Um, I'm looking down the lens of the Sony A6700 now, but it's the background you need to be conscious of. Is the background, does the background look as good on the APS-C body as it does on the full frame body? Now there might be just that wee bit more bokeh on the full frame body, but if you look at them independently, you can use the A6700 for professional interview stuff without any problem whatsoever. If you take a look at this clip I'll show you now, I shot outdoors yesterday, that was shot on the A6700 using the Viltrox 75mm lens. It's an APS-C lens, 75mm is about 112mm in full frame terms. Look how creamy that bokeh is, look how creamy the background is. Now you can't tell me that that doesn't look like it's shot on full frame when it was actually shot on an APS-C body and that lens Although it's not a cheap lens, it's certainly not an expensive lens. Um, likewise, you can pick up like the 56mm lens for the uh, Sony APS-C range. That's got an aperture of f1.4. Fantastic lens. If you're into filming interviews and you want to get professional looking results on an APS-C body. And it doesn't have to be the 6700. Any of the Sony APS-C bodies will give you that same sort of look. Um, Likewise, on my Sony a7C, you don't need to use the 50mm lens. But what makes it critical, really, is using the lens with a wide aperture. If you want to throw the background out of focus, whether you're using an APS-C body or whether you're using a full-frame body, or in fact, even if you're using a uh, micro four-thirds, the wider the aperture of that lens, the more the background will be thrown out of focus. And also, you need a lens with better compression. So you need a lens at least 50 mil to give you that nice, that nice look. Otherwise, wider angle lenses won't give you that creamy bokeh, and they certainly won't make the faces and you know uh, people's features look right. They'll all look distorted. So um, use a minimum of a 50 mil lens. Now here in the studio, I have to use a 50 mil lens uh, because I can't get the cameras far enough away to be able to you know get that nice look. So that's why I shot this other shot outdoors yesterday. But yeah, that's the look you're going to get. So again, this is the APS-C body, lovely creamy bokeh in the background. Uh, and this is the full frame body, which again has that lovely creamy bokeh. So, you know, you can get that professional look from a crop sensor. Don't care what anyone says. Just thought I would point this out because I think so many people uh, are blinded by what YouTubers say, you have to have full frame, you have to have full frame. You don't have to have full frame. A lot of it is down to how you film and what uh, choice of lenses you make. So there we go. I hope you found that useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button if you like the content of this video. We'd really, really appreciate that. Helps me grow the channel. Cheers for now. Bye.